always a pleasure to welcome my next guest. She's been a cop. She's been a call girl. She's been the candidate for lieutenant governor of California. She's also back in the news. Unfortunately, there's a chance she may have to serve time in prison, which kills me because she's a nice lady. Here to tell us all about it is adorable Norma Jean Almodovar. I know. You're trying to make a joke, and I'm crazed. Well, so am I, actually. But I brought this so you could sign it for me. It's my ball and chain. Oh. Why Why are they going to overturn your, your probation? Is it anything to do with us? No, it <coughs> has to do with the fact that pandering, with the, the crime that I've been convicted of in California... What is pandering? Pandering is simply <coughs> to... You're on your own. And you know, <laughs> I, I've got some advice for your audience. Well, first of all, you know, I really should be flattered by what they're doing because after all in california where we've got an overcrowded prison system you know they're trying to empty out the prisons early of releasing the serious criminals in order to make room for me i really should feel flattered yeah. don't you think uh, it's all <laughs> it's all madness of it's, course yeah. but i've got some advice for your audience because now if you ever get raped robbed assaulted or whatever and you've got to call the police don't tell them you're getting raped, robbed, assaulted. Tell them that Norma Jean's in your front yard pandering and you'll have 10 cop cars there. <laughs> you, you've been through so much in your life. And from being a, a, a cop and then being a call girl and, and now all this harassment, if it is, you know, harassment, which I think it is. I um, do. Uh, you, is, are you na naive about anything, or is everything now you're very getting very jaded? Well, no, you know, um, I still am <coughs> terribly naive about people because I, I have always been so open and trusting, and that's really what got me in trouble in the first place is I have a big mouth, okay? And it came in handy in my second profession, true, but... <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> to this and that is that I'm open and trusting and uh, I, I tell people too much about my life yeah. and, and that has got me a lot of trouble do you ever wish you hadn't had all the experiences you've had you know well I wish I didn't have the prison experience yeah. certainly that was very painful and unpleasant I spent the holidays there in 1984 I was there uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas and New Year's and I was all alone and it was horrible me and my flies I had some flies in the room and, and it was just me and my flies and it was horrible but, uh, so that's really, um, other than that, I wish I didn't spend 10 years on the police department. I wish it had, you know, I wish I'd gotten there and, and, you know, known what I'd known and left early and become a call girl a long time ago. The first time you were, you went to be a call girl. Mm -hmm. It sounds so stupid, but what's it like the first time with, a, you know, like a, a paying customer? Well, yeah, that's a good question. Um... <laughs> She said, my hands were like ice the first time. The oh. guy. I was scared to death. But the madam that I started working for, um, she said, well, can you start right now? I mean, I had so many questions to ask her that afternoon. I wanted to know about health insurance, you know, and, and if, <laughs> if we were recovered, you know. And uh, so she said, well, look, I've got a client. Can you see him? And so she called up this client. He came over. Um, I was dressed in jeans and a T-shirt because that's all I ever wore on the police department. She had to loan me, um, you know, her gown and everything. And I was like... <laughs> like like a kid dressing up in her mother's clothes and the client came over my hands were like ice I had to run them under hot water for like 10 minutes before I got them warm enough to, to touch him but um, it was it was wonderful I mean for me it was a wonderful experience because he was so gentle with me and um, then what after it was over he gave me a big tip and I, I thought gee wow is this all I've been waiting for you it's like this is what I haven't done this for you. I mean, here I gave it away to all those cops all those years, and... <laughs> but let me just tell you, I just love you so much. Tell me one more time, who do they write to to help you? To Governor George Duke Majin of California, to the uh, District Attorney Ira Reiner's office, and even to the, the station. Just write maybe to us here. Write to you here and put, 
Green Norma Jane on the on the letter. And anything you need, I'm glad to do for you. I mean, you are just adorable, just adorable. We'll be right back with a baby and lawyer.